This video have been in my mind for a long time now and I was talking about this video in another video looking through my old art and crying. I've been wanting to do this video for a while now and I'm already working on another video that has my old art in it. And I finally got all the work done. So just like what the title says, we are going to look through more of my old art, but this time I'm going to redraw it. And just like the other video, we are going to start from the oldest art to not so old art. I will say what year I drew it and how old I was. The first art is from 2004 and I was 7 years old when I drew this. So in here we have a person in water and they are screaming for help and the rider is trying to help the drowning person. We also have this heart shape imp in here. I used to love drawing imps too because I was not like other kids. The imp seems to be really mad. I believe they wanted the dude to drown, I guess. But here we have the speed paint of this old art. I'm not that good with backgrounds and especially moving water. So we will see me struggling here when I try to make something even with a tutorial. But I kept the same theme in here. A person is in danger and the rider is trying to save them. But now I made that the imp is actually trying to kill the drowning person. I also wanted to play with the perspective. So it's nicer than in the first art. But I'd say I did pretty good job in here. The second drawing is from 2006 when I was 9 years old. I kinda kept the imp themes these years, but I was also drawing a lot of angels, devils and dragons too. In this art we have a snake slash dragon creature in the middle of the page and an angel and devil on the sides doing something to the dragon. We also have two sons and we can see that we are loving what the devil is doing here more than what the angel is doing because the sun is smiling in here. Then we can move the speed paint. I for some reason got the inspiration to draw the dragon in grayscale. It was good practice, like I would say it's not the best grayscale you could do, but I saw actually grayscale art before doing that so I was like inspired by that. I also gave the dragon golden color rather than gray color, like in the original art. I also made the devil more human-like and I don't have two suns in here. I have sun and a moon. I had a clear vision of this picture, but again the background was problem for me, so I went with easy and I drew clouds. I still like the art, so 5 out of 5. Third, we have art from the same year as the last one. And here we have a burning castle and a prince that is riding to the burning castle and he's happy, just like his horse. We also have this smiling son who's watching this burning castle very, very happily. And I think people are sleeping in the castle. There are these little sets in here. So that fact makes this art even better for my nine years old self. I don't know why I like to kill people in my art. But anyway, <laughs> here is the speed paint for this art. Now I wanted to make some epic kind of art in here. So I have three different camera angles. My favorite thing to draw was the sun. I don't like to draw faces so much, but I think I did a pretty good job and I like the smaller sun more. I only needed to draw half of a face, so that was better for me. But I really like to draw the free camera angle art thingy. I have never done that before, so it was nice practice. Also in the speed paint, you cannot see me at the ending details, like the flames to the castle. Because I didn't forget that the castle was supposed to be burning. Of course not. But here is the finished art. I'm very proud of what it looks like. In the fourth art, we have really, really bad attempt at traveling Shesho Maru from Inuyasha. This art is from 2008 when I was 11 and I really loved Inuyasha. My favorite character was Naroku, so kinda sad that I didn't draw him, but Cheshomaru is okay too. I have two pics of Cheshomaru in here, but in the speed paint I only drew one picture. But I still kept the shibi style while drawing. I don't really draw a lot of shibi art, 
mostly never, so it was challenging to draw, but I still got something. I also don't really care about shibi art, so 8 out of 10. I still like the art, but it's not my favorite. In the fifth art we are in 2009, when I was 12. I really enjoyed drawing in manga style, so I still kept it in this year. I really liked Naruto, so I guess this is some kind of ninja girl, but that's not what I went with the redrawing. I went more with nature theme. As we can see in the speed paint, I didn't go with the shibi style. I think the original art was like 40% of shibi style, but because it was not that close to a chibi style, so I went with my normal style. I was actually really tired when I drew this, so not my best attempt, but I still like it. I also did all the minimal things you could do. If I would draw this again, it would look better, but I'm not going to draw it again. Good job me, you did your best. Then we have the sixth art, and it's a glass of milk with little milk cans around it. I drew this in 2014 when I was 17 years old. I remember being in school when I drew this. Why did I draw a glass of milk? I don't know, but it's still cute and I kind of like it. In the speed paint, you can see that I tried to draw with vectors in Clip Studio Paint, but Clip's vector art is not good and I didn't want to spend my time learning it. So I just made it like every other art. Now, I don't want to get into is milk okay to drink or not, so I made the art of normal milk and soy milk. I don't know if soy milk is supposed to be a different color than white. I personally drink oat milk, so I don't know what color is soy milk, so if it's wrong color, sorry, I'm not going to change it. But I still like the art of both of these, so 10 out of them for both kind of milks. Our seventh art is from 2015, when I was 18 years old. I really got into scent house back in the day, and I liked to do those a lot. I also liked the grey white horse pattern, so I'm also using it in the speed paint. I don't have an idea who these characters are, so I didn't bother to draw the dragon one, so as we can all see in the speed paint, I only drew the horse person, but I didn't want to draw a skinny man with muscles, so I drew more heavier person this time. I also still love the grey white pattern, so I'm still using it in here. Then I wanted to give some flowers to this man, but I'm really lazy to draw them. So I just used brush to do the work for me in here. It's ugly, I know, but I don't care. But the thing I really like is how the silver color of the horse body is looking with the brown skin. So I'm in love of this art. 10 out of 10. My eighth art is from 2017, when I was 20 years old. I remember buying a gold markers and I wanted to try them. I don't remember where I got the idea of gold liquid coming out of the woman's mouth, but I still really liked the idea of that. I tried to make it symmetrical back in the day, but I failed. But in the speed paint, I actually used the symmetrical tool to make the face symmetrical and the hair symmetrical, and I love it. I also wanted to stay in black and white theme, so I kept all that too. The color in the original art where the liquid is going looked really wonky in the original art, so I didn't use it in the new art. I also did more sketchy lines in here, and I think they look really good. They give more personality to the character, and that's why I really like this art. And this is my favorite art that I did in this video. But this art is not the last art that I have, because I still have the ninth and the last art that I'm showing now is this female superhero that is based on a moth. I did this art also in 2017. I guess I was again into superheroes and I wanted to make my own. In the original picture, the moth that I was taking reference was actually a plushie, so it was not a real moth. But in the speed paint, I actually searched for a real moth and I took the design of that. I had really, really huge problem with colors in here. I didn't have any inspiration for them and I just tried 
and tried something. I found color palettes, but they just didn't work. And after trying really hard to get it to work, I finally got some colors on this superhero. <laughs> Am I 100% happy with the colors on the suit? No, but I was already struggling with them, so they will do now. I really enjoyed drawing her and I will give her also 10 out of 10, like most of my art. Thank you all for watching this video, I used a lot of time to make this and I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I was enjoying drawing for all of you. Which art is your favorite? I'd like to hear that in the comments. If you'd like to support my channel, remember to subscribe and share this video. I really hope to see you all in the next video, so hopefully we see each other in there. Bye!